Hello, dear ones. I'm taking a walk at one of my favorite places, Pastorius Reservoir. It's nearing sunset, and there are a lot of juniper trees out there, not too tall. And then there's this big open field here. Let's see, maybe I can get the full. There's this huge open field, right? And uh, in the middle of the field, there are these fence posts. There's the lake off there, the the to the in the horizon, the, the reservoir. And there are these very peculiar fence posts here, above the walking one of the walking trails. And the the interesting thing is we have the fence posts, but really no um, wire there. And uh, there there is a little bit of wire, see. See, can you see it? But it's all broken up and basically these fence posts are just sort of demarcating the middle of the field. And um, and then there's some true fences over here. This is for the farm that's on the other side. And I'll bet there's more fence posts over this way where there's more farm and, ho and a home and like that. But really these fence posts here they don't have any particular reason to be there, you know. And this video is going to be uh, talking a little bit about judgment and acceptance and uh, the place of the role of judgment and when it's a hindrance. And so I just thought I'd mention these fence posts first because uh, it's they're sort of like the process the mind has of judging things. Uh, and sometimes it's useful and sometimes it's not. Like here, it's not useful, right? Because the fence posts, uh, whatever purpose they used to serve, they don't serve anymore. So those fence posts could don't need to be there, actually. And on the other side, we have fence posts that are pretty important to somebody because they mark off a beautiful farm over there so that the hikers won't go walk in there. And I'll have more about this in a minute or two. I'm going to go on down the path. And uh, one thing I wanted to say about paths is, when we're out walking, we're in a kind of a uh, non-judgmental mode, you know. We're not so sure. I mean, I am anyway. <laughs> I'm not so sure what, what's going to be happening down the way or what I'll see. But it's all okay, you know, because a walk is a very um, accepting mode of behavior. It just takes the scenery as it comes. Look, there's a shadow. <laughs> and way over there, way up there, there's something you might judge it mars the scenery, you know, and it turns out it looks like it's a telephone pole, probably. And so something technological and unexpected, you know. So we run into all kinds of things on a walk, and sometimes we, we just record the things that we judge to be acceptable. But uh, life's not really like that, you know. Life has its, its surprises, lots of surprises. And in uh, an open state of mind, uh, it goes a long way towards allowing us to, to recognize the new things in our lives and then um, decide, you know, not on the basis of prior judgments, but on the basis of the current situation, what we want to do about these new things. And if we go on with our mind kind of stuffed with, with, uh, with judgments, we might not even see the new things that are coming in as gifts from the divine, you know? We might not even recognize them. So, more on this when I find a nice place to sit.
So we're still talking about judgment and open openness a little bit. And uh, I thought I'd tell you about some time ago um, when I met someone at work who was very judgmental. And uh, the thing that struck me most about that person, aside from the fact that it felt sort of like, when I was around her, it felt kind of like there was a chalkboard and somebody took their fingernails and, and, and stretched them down like a chalkboard. It felt a little jarring on my nerves, you know. But the main thing that I noticed was the, the, the way that it was for her. And, and the feeling that I got was that uh, judgment, a lot of judgments, must make people pretty unhappy. That, that's what I had. I don't know why, because they're judging somebody else, not themselves. It's, it's an odd thing. And uh, I think maybe the thing is, because judgment has its good qualities. Uh, it allows us to learn uh, things about the world and sort of set them as precepts for ourselves so that we can get through life in a, uh, theoretically with a bunch of good judgments that allow us to do good things. <laughs> Uh, to live our life happily, you know, but the thing is judgment uh, sometimes doesn't Sometimes judgment is good at first and then later. It's not good Sometimes judgment is just not good in the first place, you know <laughs> And so it's good to have a kind of a balance between judging people and being open towards people so that we can change our judgments anytime we want and we can do away with those judgments that are really not serving much of a purpose in terms of bringing joy into our lives, you know. <sighs> That's what I think, balance. And I was reading um, an internet article not long ago about the qualities of the, the gut brain, which they called something else. It's the subconscious feelings that we have and thoughts and judgments and so forth. <laughs> And one of the qualities, uh, sets of qualities that they mentioned was called play persistence. And from, and I never looked it up, but I, the feeling that I got from that juxtaposition of opposites was, you know how when we're very little we do a lot of playing, right? And we're very curious when we're little, very often, and uh, we play. And play is a very open kind of a situation. It's not judgmental, you know. It's it's sort of like taking a walk or, in, or hiking. You're just you're just going with the flow, you know. You're just enjoying new experiences and getting a lot of fun out of life. And persistence is when we um, we keep doing the same thing over and over. We've, maybe we found it to be a very good thing, and we keep doing it over and over again. Um, so, here you have another set of opposites. You have um, judgment and, and, and openness towards other people. And then you have an attitude toward life that is, uh, has, has play as a goal. Or, or you might really prefer persistence, uh, like accounting, very persistent. <laughs> play, something like... Um, writing or acting or, or, or some creative endeavor, play. So uh, again, I think it's not a bad idea to include in your life some, some play and some persistence, you know? A little balance there. Oh, it's sunset at the lake and so wish you were here, you guys. Well, I wish you happiness wherever you are. <laughs>